This is the hands-on video starting right from the assembly. And this is the 330 watt power supply. And this is the eGPU unit. This is some road cable, and this is the graphic card RTX 4080. And here's the paper with the Pokemon written on it, along with today's date as requested. So first, we plug the power supply into the power strip. Then we connect the DC plug to the rear DC port of the eGPU dock. Then we install eGPU, insert the GPU into the PCIe slot, tighten the screws at the front to secure it. Then connect the GPU power cable to the dock's power output. Now the eGPU dock is fully set up and ready for power. OK, power is on. And the screen has lit up. It's developer mode. Now we will connect the assemble eGPU dock to a Thunderbolt 5 enabled laptop. This computer only has the Intel integrated graphics with no discrete eGPU. And you can see here only the Intel integrated GPU and CPU are listed in the task manager and device manager. Yes, just one CPU and one GPU, both from Intel. Now we connect the Thunderbolt 5 cable to the Humber 3 eGPU dock. Let's take a short moment to recognize. It. OK, the system has detected it with a quick screen flash. And you can see the RTX 4080 appears in Device Manager and Task Manager. Next, we'll check if this card is really running over Thunderbolt 5. The simplest way to test its PCIe bandwidth to see if it reaches around 5,800 megabits per second. On Thunderbolt 3, it would only reach about 3,000 megabits per second. And this is either 64 GP GPU test, and it shows 5,841 MB per second. So it confirms it's on Thunderbolt 5. Now let's run Sandy Mark. The times by benchmark. OK, we will select Time Spy and start the test. It will take a while to detect a lot of things, and we want to cut the footage to shoot the full real-time process. Now the scene is running, and we can see the frame rate is around 120 FPS. This level is only possible with the 4080, 
and the integrated Intel GPU could never reach such performance. That's even picking at 140. Now let's wait for the test to finish. The test is now completed, and the GPU score is 21,670. That's slightly below a desktop GPU score, but clearly higher than that on Thunderbolt 3. These are the usage scenarios and results, showing both our processor and GPU in action. And you can observe the GPU's performance throughout the run.